Yeah, hi, thanks. So yeah, in a decision which will have huge political implications, a five-judge bench has unanimously struck down this electoral bond scheme. Now, the court has held the scheme to be in violation of the Right to Information Act and the right to freedom of speech and expression as well. The court has held that the information about funding of political parties is essential for the effective exercise of voters' choice. Now, the court has said that political funding enhances access towards legislators and observed that there is a legitimate possibility that financial contributions to a political party would lead to a quid pro quo arrangement because of the close nexus between money and politics. And since anonymity of the donor is the central or the intrinsic part of this scheme, the court has struck down this scheme as unconstitutional. Further, the court has also struck down the amendment made to the Companies Act that treated big companies and individuals alike or on the same footing for the purposes of political donations as manifestly arbitrary. The court has held that a company exercises much wider influence on a political process than an individual and it has also observed that the amendment fails to differentiate between a loss-making company making a donation to a political party and a profit-making one doing the same. It has held that the amendment fails to take into account the quid pro quo arrangements that might arise from such an amendment and therefore this amendment has also been rendered oceous. Now further speaking about the directions that have been issued by the Supreme Court, firstly the Authorized Bank, which is the State Bank of India in this case, has been asked to stop the issuance of these electoral bonds forthwith. Further, SBI has also been asked to issue the up-to-date data regarding these electoral bonds to the ECI and has also asked SBI to submit details of the political parties who have received these bonds till now. Now, bonds not encashed by political parties shall also be returned to the purchasers uh, and finally, it has also been held that ECI should, all, should publish all this information on its website by March 6, 2024. These are the key takeaways. Thank you so much for that comprehensive uh, take on the takeaways from the verdict. In fact, we also spoke to senior Supreme Court advocate and petitioner Kapil Sibyl. Here's what he had to say on the landmark decision and its impact on the upcoming elections. Listen in. It is declared that this is this money could not have been given because the scheme itself is unconstitutional now what follows thereafter is something that uh, that that we'll have to look at uh, because if 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 i have got if i have gained illegally then it is my responsibility to return the gain but for that there will have to be certain uh, proceedings that will have to be initiated but i think that's that is really not the big issue the big issue is that we will have to, we, we can now explain to the people of this country as to how the BJP has amassed wealth through this process. Supreme